Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome back to Marvel's Midnight Suns. Before we go on our mission, I want nice to do a little back work again. on Captain America's deck. Before I started recording, I created a couple more copies of this. And I want to upgrade the two into one. I also created another copy of Dig In, so I want to go ahead and upgrade that. Always improvements to be made. And then we're going to do some upgrades here. No pain, no gain. Sorry. Didn't mean to say upgrades. I meant the ability mods. So, um, let's look at Tactician. You ever wonder if those birds out there are stuck here, trapped in the Abbey's bubble? It's creepy if you think about it. Okay. Um, you know, I can't always use a card like this and getting redraw to get at least part of the block. That's got me feeling That's not terrible. Uh, let me do the other one. Getting counter is also not bad because he taunts a lot. Yeah, we'll mix it up. Just the boost I was looking for. And then what about this? Honestly, either of these wouldn't be terrible. Um Don't worry about me. I do I'll often try to, to save ready. this for a KO though. Uh, to take advantage of the draw, so applying marked doesn't really do me any good in that situation. So I guess I'll go with the redraw Check theme. The I'm looking to just do quick hits here. I'm not going to, um, you know, keep re-rolling. That gets really expensive really quickly. So this is cool. It'll add almost 40 points of damage. And I'm usually hitting multiple guys. Basically, all I'm looking to do here is, you know, kind of give his deck just a little more punch. I think I'll take this. Um, you know, Cure is pretty good for him because it helps like you kind of want to use him as a tank and if he gets wounded or corrupted or something it kind of sucks and one more time let's do spang redraw to gain one resist is pretty darn good um it's just i hate i wish it was you know he'd get it when he used it because <laughs> i do like to use this all right, I'm just going to go with what we got. I may try to re-roll later, but it gets really expensive really quickly. So, all right, having got that done, I am going to come to the table. Hey, is this? Yeah. I'll do it. Okay. 41 credits. Not bad. Other stuff, too, that's purely cosmetic, but... Okay, so we were going to do this to go after the legendary coil and intel cache. I'm going to bring the hunter, of course. The question is, who else should we bring? Um, I believe I do either the last episode or the one before but I used Carol yeah last episode was the Bargast Hunt I used Carol and him together extremely recently so um, I was going to say Wolverine but I don't, you know I know it's not a severe injury but I would just rather not use him I'm kind of looking for somebody to deal some real damage here I mean, you know. Actually, you know what? I'm going to hold off. I'll use him with magic because I really like the 50% increase. His bonus is perfect with her. Let's bring Ghost Rider. All right. Arguably, I could have done that before I started recording, but what's the fun of that? We 
need to take that monster out. Of course, he'll protect her. Bad hounds, as there always is. I can handle it. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm 100% going to do this. this is a and I'm happy to do it. <laughs> and then I'm going to do this. Let us see if they have an answer for this. Hang on a second. Um... Yeah, this is actually, you know, potentially, well, that's the problem. These things are not quite close enough together. I could take out, you know, the one altar, but um, that's not bad. I hurt the guardian. I get rid of one altar. I get rid well, I don't get rid of, but I hurt that guy really badly. Kind of like that. I wish I could put it here and get rid of more altars, you know? That would be a really, really good use. Um, I think I'm going to do this. And the nice thing is, we'll strengthen again, so now it'll carry forward into next turn. I get the balanced color. May draw more attacks. Or another Wrath, which I would be okay with. And I'm very, very happy about this. Um... The sucky thing, I don't have a lot of opportunities to get both a KO on, you know, a minion and an altar. This is probably my best. Let's go ahead and do it. I definitely want to start getting rid of altars. I did decide not to do the thing with Ghost Rider over here, because I don't know. It does a lot of damage to him, and... I don't know. I don't love it. So, I have how many cards? I still have all my card plays left. I love stuff like that so much. Okay, this one will escalate more if I take damage. Like, if I use this first, it'll actually be better. Do I want to, to use this? I mean... I could draw more cards. It's a lot of wasted damage, and I am going to discard something. So I don't love that. Uh, by the way, you know what? We don't have a lot of need for heroism here. Only getting rid of the one? Really? Not this. Even though it's plainly in that circle. But I get rid of one dog and one... Okay, so let me try this. If I do the hunter, I believe he will move outside. Wait. Wait. No, I am getting rid of this. Okay, well, I tell you what. Just to be safe, what if I do... Th oh, Cap is in there. Grrr. <laughs> well, I was trying to um, make it safe. You know, whatever. I'm just going to do it. I'm pretty sure the hunter... Yeah, he will get out of the way. 
I was sure I remembered that. And we're doing, you know, a pretty good job of thinning out these hounds, but there's still three and two of them are elite. But I still haven't even used a card play. That is the funny part. Okay, 760. I mean, I feel like I really want to use it here. And start weakening big boy. But maybe I should just hold this. The problem is I don't have a lot of lower damage stuff. So maybe I shouldn't worry. Ooh, that's tempting. Can I do this? What I'm trying to think is could I somehow set up a shove that would KO both of them? Hmm. How would I do it? I think what I need to do is maneuver Ghost Rider. Okay, I have an idea. I, and I don't think it's a terrible idea. Let's do this. It's your time. Okay, so we KO'd one of the elites, which is always a good thing. Now, I'm not going to actually... No, it won't work. I could discard something. Um, there's no way I can play all this these, this turn. And while they're all perfectly fine cards, um, you know, I'm not saying they're like the be-all, end-all either. Now, one crappy thing is if oh, I do this, it's got knockback. Oh, well, that'll kill any chance I had, so never mind. Well, I need to use this, so I need to make a choice. Do I want to KO this thing? Or um, weaken one of the heavy hitters? I'm, sh I'm not using it on a stupid minion. So I could create two of these that have like 22, 23 health each and then hope a shove can somehow help me. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'll push her, push him over by them. I won't be able to break the altar, but Okay, and the other one's over here. I can't really, I can't really use that. Um, alternatively, can Cap get rid of the dog? Because I don't mind leaving the other guys alive this turn. Yes, he can. And I don't need a ton of... Um, wait, why, why won't it let me do that? Okay, now it's willing to for some reason. Target confirmed. All right, so that's him done. So now it just comes down to what I'd rather do. I could use Ghost Rider or the Hunter and do this. Honestly, this is pretty good. I'll go ahead. All right, and then I think I use this. Uh, the question is, who do I want to use it on? Ghost Rider has one enemy that's going to attack him, and the Hunter has one. But the Hunter, well, he does not have resist. Now, well, you know what? Let's protect Ghost Rider. Because he hurts himself, I mean. And now that really boosts Cap's block, too, which will come in handy. Um, you know what I'm actually thinking is, maybe I go ahead and I discard this. 
And um, I'm going to have another move in my pocket if I need it. I haven't really done that before, but why not? It's hard, man. That was decent. That wasn't. I don't like it when she does that. Now she's going to hurt Cap, I guess. Found him. I was hoping he would do that. It just makes him easier to deal with. At least the one that's protecting her. Bad news is, it's two of them attacking you if you let them. That's kind of rough. But a wild strike probably takes them out now. A pathetic attempt at intimidation. Okay. Uh, I want to do this, for sure. Let's KO this stupid no thing. For the Your mother abandoned. And then I'm going to use Wrath. And we'll get it right back. This shall be of great help. And what's her health? So it's not enough, but it's a lot. Um, and I probably need to use a heal on him, which will also help him resist this idiot's attack. I don't have anything with quick, which is a problem, honestly. I'm gonna just I'm gonna leave Cap where he's at for the moment. What does this thing do? All enemies have a chance to gain concealed when damaged. I'm going to live with that. I don't think I can KO her this turn no matter what I do. So, and she'll break concealment even if she, you know, does it. They are set on coming after me. 458. Yeah, I can't. Uh, everybody's going to attack the hunter, which is pretty terrible. <laughs> if, I, if I could only... Can I free him? Is there any... This thing. Well. Okay. I see a means here to win this turn. At least I think I do. Well, remember how I said I've got an extra move in my pocket. Wait a minute. Nope, it's not close enough. I'm gonna burn some heroism. And then, the two of us are gonna spend another four heroism and KO a certain nest mother. That's the mission. We've done it. Excellent work. Normally I like to clear the map. But I thought, what the heck? <laughs> Alright, cool. And hang out. Hey, I don't suppose Ebony's in here. Doesn't look like it. What's that about? Huh? That's cool. Recipe. I probably won't use it, but, you know. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Alright. Um, let me grab What's up, Hunter? that. Is there anything out here? Doesn't look... Wait. No. Thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye, but I did not. 
So we have Captain America, Ghost Rider, Nico, and Doctor Strange. What are the rewards, oh, please? Crit chance, don't really care. Because Wrath gives me automatic crits. And with two in my deck, oh, I tend hey. to draw it a lot. Resilience is not bad, for sure. Um, Whenever we foil Hydra's plans, Robbie, plus two power is good. And we Steve, the fall, we yeah, us. it's always his thing. Okay, before I make a choice, oh brother, there's Why, some gloss. Before I make a choice, let's just look at our friendship levels. So we max him out and he's in level one of the next kind of little mini levels they do after that. I'm only a level two with Robbie. I haven't maxed him. I'm a level three with her. And I'm a level two with Doctor Strange. Uh, I think um, I think rather than focus on the reward, I'm going to do. Um, yeah, I'll do it. I got pretty lucky. Those responses landed really well with him. So we're definitely going to um, get some good points off of this. As long as I can... Actually, this should be perfect for him. Or this. Um, is there anything else? Let's see. just want to make sure I didn't have like any of the, the comics or something that with his origin. So, let me see. Uh, I'll give him this. Let's yeah, endeavor love the epic soon. gift. So overall, 19 friendship gained. That's good. So we'll level up for sure. I think I was very close anyway, but that'll do it. Well, like I said, he's ready to level up. Increase card damage. Give cards in your hand increased damage. Is that, um, all, all the time? I didn't remember that. No. So. I'm kind of confused. I don't know if that's just a bonus that for the next time. No, it's not that either. I thought it might be his combat bonus for the next mission. I don't know what it is. It's not his passive. <laughs> Whatever. It's just pet Charlie. Good girl, Charlie. All right. Well, I know we finished that demon child armor research. Whatever strange and star cooked up for you. I think we're going to be able to do the next story mission now. As I had hoped, the bar guest's dark energy is exactly what we needed to pierce the demonic barrier. What is our next move? I've created a suit of armor from it, tailored to fit you and only you. In theory, it will allow you to walk among the Lilin. I just hope it fits. It certainly looks impressive, doesn't it? I've decided to call it the Demon Child Suit. A very fitting name, Doctor. On many levels. 
I was hearing a lot of eyes in there, Doc. Thought this was a we scenario going on here. Yes, Tony provided some assistance, of course. Particularly with the name. Yeah, well, forgive me if I'm not used to having my combat suits try and take a bite out of me while I calibrate them. It is an impressive, if not pungent, creation. Speaking of, I suggest you make use of the suit while the components are still... fresh. That should maximize the protections against that infernal barrier. Understood, Doctor. It turns out Tony does occasionally make useful um, contributions. Break some senses. Pounds gain run resist each turn. This is probably Charlie. And then the hunter and Charlie attacks have a greatly increased chance to be critical when drawn. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. So this is the passive. And this just unlocks it. It doesn't... You can use it with any suit. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, I can't? I have, What have I not done? I've only done three missions with dead. Don't forget to write. Oh, Hunter, what is that hideous thing you're wearing? Hideous? That's harsh, even for you, Sarah. It... Oh, smells. And what is that leathery material it's made of? It looks like it's made from the skin of... Rabid demon dog? Pretty much terrifies me just looking at it. But if it can get Hunter here through that demonic barrier keeping us out of Banner's lab, I can deal with my existential terror over Strange's creepy meat suit. Barrier? Oh, didn't Hunter catch you up? We're going back to Banner's lab to emancipate my gamma accelerator. Thought we could use it to destroy the parchment, if we ever find it again. Hunter, we need to talk. And we need to talk now. What is Tony talking about? You're going back to Banner's lab to get some gadget of his? He believes his gamma accelerator can destroy the parchment. Yes, I heard. But nothing can destroy the parchment. And why didn't anyone run this inane idea by me? I suggest lowering your voice and changing your tone if you would like an answer. I will not have you dictate my tone. Not when you and the others have purposely gone behind my back and orchestrated this little excursion back to Banner's lab. Well, this is what we have decided to do. Best accept it. It's not like any of you are giving me much of a choice. Afraid not. I am sorry, Sarah, but you cannot stop us. No, I suppose I can't. Fine, go back to the lab and get Tony's toy. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> While you're there, if you happen to encounter Wanda, don't make the mistake of going easy on her. I assure you, she won't hold back on you. I still believe there is hope for her. False hope. Listen, I feel Nico and Magic's pain. I do, but we both know purifying corruption is impossible. Wanda is gone. Your only job is to retrieve the accelerator and come back, safe. Do not sacrifice yourself for someone who is beyond saving. You hear me? Well... At least that armor looks as sturdy as it is macabre. It should give you the protection you need. Good luck out there. I hope Tony's accelerator is worth it. Yeah. Don't worry, caretaker. We all know that you want Wanda dead. Ugh. Is that the doggy armor Strange tailored for you? How does it look? You have to ask. <sighs> I know. I look hideous. 
I was thinking more along the lines of ridiculous. Not unlike Strange's plan. I thought she wanted us to find a way to break back into Banner's lab. I do. I just think wearing a hellhound skin to bypass a demonic barrier is something you'd only see in one of Nico's zombie movies. I thought that would be a reason you would like the plan. What? Because Nico likes to make me watch bad movies with her? Movie nights are Nico's thing. Besides, I prefer plans that aren't based on fiction. But if on the off chance you happen to breach the barrier and make your way in, maybe I can find a way to help you out. What do you mean? I don't give a damn about the Accelerator, but I do give a damn about Wanda. So if wearing that monstrosity gets us closer to her, I will do everything in my power to help get her back. Promise me you will do the same. I swear. Good. Now get out of here. And don't come back until you bring back my friend. Be careful out there, Hunter. I want both you and Wanda back safe. Yo, Hunter! It's almost game time. Let's prep. Okay, we don't have much time, so I want to run down what you need to do to pull off this purification spell. First and foremost, you gotta say the words to the incantation freaking precisely. Like, every single syllable needs to be on point. What if I stumble over them? Uh, something bad might happen? Define bad. Oh, I don't know. Like accidentally summoning a huge horde of zombie penguins to descend on New York? But that's why you memorize the words to the incantation. You do remember them, right? A horde of zombie penguins? I thought the only peril this spell could cause was to me. No, like everyone in the Tri-State area could be in trouble if you screw this up. So come on, let me hear you say them. Ego sum tenebris, et veniunt in domum suamu bet dominus. Uh, and the last line? Domun domini precepta your. Hey, you remembered all your lines. Not sure you would. Maybe we have a shot at saving Wanda after all. <sighs> okay, there are a few more important details we need to go over. First off, don't say the incantation before you see Wanda. You have to wait until she's in sight for it to work, okay? Got it. When you do start to say it, she should start to become disoriented. You're gonna have to repeat it three times before she's gonna be subdued enough for you to drain the corruption from her. Absorbing that much dark energy into your body is gonna be... Uh, intense. I just want to make sure you're up to it. My only concern is bringing back Wanda in one piece. Just don't forget to take care of yourself in the process. Remember, the only person in recorded history who managed to remove corruption died doing it. I do not need reminding of that. Right, sorry. I want Wanda back more than anything. I just don't want you to fall trying to get her back. I've already lost enough people I care about. Losing people is something we, sadly, both know too well. I just feel grateful I can talk to you about that stuff. You're one of the few people outside Magic and Wanda who... understands. So... This is it, huh? Just wanted to say... I believe in you, Hunter. You got this. Thanks, Nico. Now? Bring our girl home. Oh, and Hunter, if for some reason the spell doesn't work, please don't hurt her. No matter
matter what happens. God. She just cannot stop talking. Alright, we gotta do this. Plus 10 strength. Um, I've been trying to beef him up for Winds of Watum. I think I'm still good with that. Yeah, we're getting there. 25% is nothing to sneeze at. Okay, we still have Wolverine injured. This is his last day either way, but this way he'll get a good bonus. Okay. Uh, what have I got here? Oh, right. <coughs> Excuse me. I forgot we still have um, the stupid coil. I came in here and they started jabbering at me for so long. I forgot all about it. So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? Well, this should be a good one. A lot of epic cards. This is some of my best work. Two. Uh, next hunter card played is not discarded. Yeah, okay. Apply one bleed. So I'm just gonna take these, and um, I'm definitely gonna salvage that one. I'm not sure about the Ghost Rider card. I have to check. You find more coil, send it my way. Uh, let me do that before I forget. So I already have two fully upgraded copies equipped. Don't really need any more. Did I have two of these? Or did I just get rid of the wrong card? I hope not. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I have this weird feeling that I just destroyed a card that I shouldn't have. Either the second one or the first one, like, did I, <laughs> did I just lose track of what I was doing and like, the names looked similar or something? I don't know. Any new leads? Beginning decryption sequence. I asked Tony if he had any material on encryption and he left me this pile of spells. Okay, two epic something missions. Pick a bad guy. Any bad guy. Um, so, I need to do this one for sure. Problem is, I really want rare cards for him. I don't know. I think I'm kind of reaching the point where... Um, I don't really need epic cards anymore. I think I kind of have everything I need. Isn't that funny? I don't know if I could use another one or two for her, but she's too low, so I can't I can't use her. I'll just send Blade. If we had some rookies, I could send them out for the experience, but I think we're past that. I'm going to hold off on this. I don't need to do them both on the same day. And it starts to really limit your flexibility, you know, when you look in here. So what I particularly want to see, yeah, that's what I thought. So we're going to go with magic. I don't have to give some real thought. Um, I, I remember this being, I think, a fairly challenging fight. So... Who was it? There was somebody I said. Armor hunter, literally and I wanted to pair with magic. And somebody had a bonus that gave. Okay, it was Iron Man. Makes the radius 50% bigger for all heroes. So magic having. Um, what's it called? Gather? Gather so good, but the more space it covers, like it just gets exponentially better. So, you know, these two should be good. The only downside between having Iron Man and Hunter, I may not hardly get any of Magic's cards. 
Let me see. Do I have... Oh, I forgot. I need to do this. So I'm going to have to make a choice here about who we... Uh, what card we're going to get rid of. And it'll... Well, I kind of don't want to get rid of any knockback spells. And I don't want to get rid of Gather. <sighs> Maybe I get rid of Banish. It's a good card. This is, I keep saying this. You look at, you know, different cards that you get access to and you go, man, this is good. And it is. And I especially love it with the redraw gives her concealed. The problem is that you're not doing this in a vacuum. Let me do this. I want to see if I can upgrade Dark Child. I'm not um, because card, Dark Child is really powerful if you can use it more than once. I mean, it's powerful the one time if it exhausts, but I'd like to go farther than that. Now, I assume... Yeah, so my only problem with this is that I don't have a legendary right, blueprint. That's the only screen. reason I can't make a second copy. But, if I, I can't craft a legendary... You can salvage a legendary into two epics, but you can't take two epics to make a legendary. Well, it is what it is. I'll just have to keep my eye out for missions that offer legendary blueprints. Uh, but I don't have one right now, so it is what it is. I think I had one quite a while ago. And I used it specifically to give the hunter um, a second copy of Bladestorm. Like, see, this is upgraded. That's fine. Okay, enough yammering. I think uh, the only question I have is, do I want to use this? See, I'm, he can resist each turn. That's only Charlie, and I'm not sure I can summon Charlie. I don't think so. I have to get a card for that. Hey, do I have it? It's just interesting that this suit, like they want me to bring Charlie. There's literally a card that does that. But I don't think I've ever gotten it. I don't have it. I think I have to finish um, how can I say this? There's a series of challenges outside the ground, like on the grounds of the Abbey. I'm not positive, but I think I have to do some of those. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not going to worry about it. I don't have Charlie and I don't really need an in increased chance at a crit. Like I said before, Wrath gives me crits all the time. I'm going to leave it here. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time.